All right, uh, I wanted to show you what I've done to get this damper rod out of this fork tube. So most of the time on any cartridge fork, this is the cartridge. And what happens is, is this gets screwed down inside at the bottom. And there's a cap that goes in the bottom that screws into this, so it holds it together. The problem is, uh, there's a, the rod is sticking out of the top of this, and there's really not a very good way of grabbing it to hold it. So when you try to turn this bottom nut out of here, uh, this just spins on the inside and you can't get it off. You can usually do it with, uh, there's various ways of doing that. You put some friction on it, push down. I actually had a piece of PVC pipe that I pushed onto here just to get it with enough friction so I get it out with an impact hammer. But what I've done is I've made a tool for this bike. This is a KDX 200. And you'll see the top of the damper rod is a hex uh, key shape. And this is a 27 millimeter uh, cross. I have read that some of these are 30. I don't know what years of KDX would be 30. This is a 2006 and it's 27 millimeter. So what I did was I went down a tractor supply and just got a bolt. It would happen to be a metric bolt that has a 27 millimeter head on it. And uh, I believe it was a 18 millimeter thread, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to cut all that off of there. And I use that for this part. And I'm going to drill a hole in that and then put it on a piece of metal pipe that uh, I also got from Tractor Supply. And so I'm just going to weld that on. So I'm going to show you how I built that tool so that you could hold this damper rod and show you how it works. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I, I scribed a, a line across two places so I can kind of get the center and then start with a really small drill bit. So what I'm gonna do is drill a hole in this for the damper rod to come through. So this is gonna to have to be a fairly big hole, but I'm gonna drill a smaller hole first um, so that I can make sure that it, I get it straight. bird ready to go so now the idea is this will fit in here like that with the damper rod once the nuts off the damper rod which when you're taking it apart is you take that off this damper rod will be sticking out of here like so and then the metal pipe will be on here and you'll be able to stick it over the top. There we go. Perfect. So all we need to do is weld that metal pipe onto here so that we can get a wrench on it. And that way we can hold the damper rod. All right, I do not profess to be an expert welder, that's for sure. But I just went over there to the MIG welder and uh, just kind of put a little bit of weld on there to hold that on. So now, what happens is, when this is in the, the fork tube, you, uh, you put this down over the top, and it engages like that, and then, uh, most, for the most part by hand, this is enough torque to, to um, get this out of there, but if you needed to, you can put the American uh, size nuts uh, on here and, and put a tack weld on there to hold that on. You could smash it and use a crescent wrench. You can jam nut something on the threads. If your pipe, if you bought pipe with nut threads, there's, you could weld another nut on the top. There's, there's a whole bunch of ways you could do that, but for the most part, this will probably work. If I had a drill press, you can also drill a hole through the side and then put a little piece of uh, round stock through there for like a T-handle. There's, there's so many ways of making this. This is just how I made mine. and uh, I'll be using this in some of my suspension videos to uh, work on these KDX forks. So there's the tool. Those are the things I did to uh, to make it. And I hope that helps somebody out there with a, with a KDX like mine when you need to rebuild your forks. Handy, handy tool to have and it cost me about 10 bucks and maybe an hour of fiddling around. It would have been a little faster if I had a nut instead of a bolt. 
to put on there. It'd have been a lot easier and faster if I just welded it on. But uh, that's what I that's all I could find at the store today, and I was in kind of a hurry because I've got to get my suspension back together for the race next weekend. So anyway, that's how you make the tool. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.